Steve here at Voss Rivers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2021 Venture RV Sport Track Touring Edition Model 333 VMI. It's a new floor plan as of uh, last year. They introduced it in 2020. This is our first one and we're super excited to have it. Now, um, this particular Sport Track is 36 foot 11 inch, including the tongue, and it weighs almost 8,700 pounds. So it still remains towable, but the majority of them that we actually sell here end up being parked permanently. So we are considering them sort of a park model line. So what we like about that is that this particular trailer has been built to take the abuse, the shaking, and the, the twisting of the road, but being parked. So it uh, tends to be a little bit better built. Uh, contrary to the park model product lines, we had many in the past and it was a disappointment every time because they're actually built to make it to two lots, ours here and yours at the campsite. So if you're looking at a unit that has a patio door, oh, they may look pretty, but what is between the wall is not as good. This is built, uh, it's been built to take the views of the road. So uh, let's walk uh, around this particular trailer, see what it has. Uh, it's loaded, it's not missing anything. So at the front, I have a Nice electric dong jack with LED lights. Two times 30 pounder. Right behind it where, is where your battery is going to go. And there's a battery disconnect right there. There's a beautiful front cap. It's painted, gel coated. And they incorporated an old, automotive quality uh, window on it. Uh, there's LED lights as well. Talking about LED lights, pretty much all exterior lights, including tail lights or LED. Coming around the corner. We have a little compartment with a switch. That switch will turn on the uh, lights that is underneath the trailer, the blue LED lights. All of the outside compartments come with a slam latch and a magnetic holder. And one key will fit all of the locks. So all of the exterior compartments as well as your main entrance door. And there's two doors on this one. So that's pretty nice. Another thing that I really like, four electric jacks with individual motors and switches. It's great. Talking about the underbelly, it is fully enclosed and heated as well. We have an outside kitchen in the slide out. It's very large. Lots of storage. Nice little fridge. There is a sink with hot and cold. Sponge holder. Nice little door for cutlery. And a two burner stove. There's a power outlet in here, as well as a cable outlet if you decide to put a little TV. I like the thickness of the door. A lot of the manufacturers have that thickness, so there's a very a lot of st structure here, a lot of materials, and like that. All of our windows on the outside are frameless, they're tainted. This slide out, fairly large, has an awning on top of it. It's actually harmless, so you won't uh, knock your head on the arm that sticks out from the slide out. And there's another one on the main trailer there. The new steps goes inside the trailer. There's a foldable entry handle. There's a bottle opener, dog leash holder. There's a patio light. Outside speakers. There's an exterior entrance to the bedroom. The other switch for the jacks at the back. Your fresh water tank, power outlets. Roof ladder to the back. It's ready for backup camera. There's rain gutters and spout extension, including that back wall. It's pretty unusual. There is a trailer hitch, two inch trailer hitch. So if you want to put a bike rack or just a rack, you can. Cable satellite ready. We have double wiper seals on all of our slide out. There's another one right behind. A little bomb seals in the track that's never coming off. All of our slide out systems are rack and pinion system. That's the best uh, you can find in the industry. There is a big access to storage underneath the bed right here. A little further down, a power detachable cord. It is 50 amps. We have a couple fireplace and a possibility for a second AC if you want. And a 15K AC standard on these units. Black tank flush, gas electric water heater. Everything turns on from the inside. And there's your valve right here underneath, very nicely located, right in the center. Uh, the valves are actually part of the underbelly, so they're heated and enclosed, so they're not going to take the abuse of the road. We have an outside shower with hot and cold. 
and your city water connection right here. So it's all nicely located right in the middle of the trailer. It's a perfect spot. So, and uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior, folks. Uh, what's new for 2021? This is our first 2021 Sport Trek Touring Edition. I was told they were going to make some changes on the cabinets. I wasn't too sure about that two-tone idea, but I'm actually loving it. So the kitchen cabinets get a different color than the rest of the cabinet in the trailer, and it looks fantastic. I think everybody that viewed it uh, have the same uh, feeling. So it's got a lot of new little things that I really like as well. So we're not going to waste any time and I think we're going to get going. So may as well start with the kitchen. Uh, nice hard surface countertop. So that I haven't changed from last year. Stainless steel sink, farmer style, very deep. There's a couple of drying rag that comes with it. A new tab this year. I'm really liking it. The black color really cuts and makes it look definitely different. Uh, they incorporated a, a nice little cutting board made by Venture. Pretty fancy. I like that. There's a new backboard as a decorative backboard here. A new insert glass for the top cabinets. It's very nice. And there's lots of storage. They even incorporated the shelves in here. Same as under the sink. There's a nice shelf here as well. In here as well, but that's where our water heater is, so we don't have access to the bottom. But that's where you'll be uh, taking your two screws out, and then you have access to your valve for winterizing the water heater. It's pretty nice. LED lights throughout the interior. We have always that little compartment that's a nice little hidden spot to charge your phone and your tablet. So there's a new USB and the power outlets right there. Talking about power outlet, there is one, two, three, one in here, four, and there's one by the dining table. Okay, so let's go around. Nice little kitchen island. I like that. Venture always leave a spot open for a waste bin. But the other side, they could have just left it open as well. But no, they actually went to the trouble of putting a, a nice little shelf on there. All the drawers are plywood made. They, the whole thing extend out and it's on ball bearing hardware. You got four drawers here. On this side, nice little stove. Furry on stove this year. Uh, the knob lights up. What I really like about this model, it's got a 21 inch oven. The standard oven is 17 inch. You can't put anything on top to cook because the element has to be in the middle. So with a 21 inch, we get a lot of height. So you could be cooking definitely a couple of chicken in there if you want. Muffin, whatever it is. Uh, bifold glass cover. Flush mounted. I really like that. It looks awesome. But the Furion, one of the things that I like the most about is the cast iron grill that it has. So that's a nice touch. A uh, new range hood this year. They're always vented outside. Microwave right above. New this year, 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. This is residential quality, folks. It runs on 12 volts, so if you got a power in the front, power goes out, your fridge will automatically kick in to the 12 volts and it'll keep your food cold. It's got a nice size fridge. I like the grill. And I love the freezer. Look at the size of that, folks. Another feature I like, they always add a pantry and always removable shelf. You want to add, you want to space them differently, you can do this. It's not a problem. And there's always a skylight with a little blind in every Sport Trek product that is the touring edition or just the regular edition. To complete, we have our freestanding table and chair. Under a chair seating, there's a little bit of storage. Look at the size of the side windows on the slide out. It couldn't get any bigger, really. Uh, large windows there as well. Farm style uh, window light over the table. It's on the switch. And we're talking about that power out that's nicely located right by the table. So if you got a laptop and running out of power, you can plug right there. Now the Living room, uh, seating, the fabric, the sofas, they changed the color this year and it's a big hit. I'm actually loving that color. It brings up the level of, uh, how would I say, I say that? Uh, it looks richer, definitely richer. So there is a new three-fold sofa this year uh, that will convert into a sleeping arrangement. Our theater sitting, recline. And there is a massage and heat as well on there. And new this year, they introduced a USB outlets. And the armrest, there's a couple of cup holder. There's also a power outlets and a couple of USB outlets that pops up if you want.
So it's a pretty nice seating arrangement. It's made by Thomas Payne. Um, very well product, very well made uh, furniture for the RV industry. All of the windows have uh, pleated shades. They're all black. Again, I think it adds a little bit to the uh, overall luxurious feel of the trailer. There's a nice front window. It's really nicely finished. There's storage above. Lots of storage above. And our entertainment system. So the other side of the outside kitchen is where we have our TV. And a 31 inch or 30 inch uh, fireplace that produce 1400 watts of heat. So we get two fireplaces in this unit. One in the living room and one in the bedroom. You get to change the color of the flame and the color of the rock. It's for you to choose. It's thermostat controlled. You set your temperature. It'll kick in and out to keep that temperature in place. There's a lot of little extra shelves in here. And above the TV, well, it's super deep. We have an AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB auxiliary stereo. HDMI as well. Uh, 5 volt charge on the uh, USB. So that will charge your phone pretty damn quick if you want. And I think that covers this particular area. Let's take a look at the bathroom. There's a little hallway to make it to the front bedroom. On the way there, we have our thermostat that will control the AC and the furnace. We talked about the AC being 15K. It's doctored through the roof, and our furnace is doctored through the floor. Our bathroom, we get new doors this year, so more of a farm style door. They're very nice, really like them. So in the bed, in the bathroom, it haven't changed much. Uh, nice little vanity, there's plenty of counters, stainless steel sink, new tab this year. A very large medicine cabinet with a shelf. There is a little extras on the top right here, so a second medicine cabinet. Foot flush porcelain toilet. We have a switch for the light. We will have a switch for, for the power fan. We have our Level Mate Pro system. So that's a little device that would sync to your phone and help you level the trailer. And this year they added a motion detector LED night light. There's a vent for AC through the roof, a vent for heat through the floor, and a 36 by 30 shower with a roll up shower curtain. Pretty nice. There's a skylight as well and a shower surround. It's not the biggest bathroom in the industry, but it works well. Now the bedroom is at the back. That's always a good spot for a bedroom. If you're into a campsite, normally the back of the lot is going to be the less noisy spot. So you could be, you know, uh, looking at the forest or, or whatever, the river. It's, it's not going to be as noisy as where the car drives in in the morning and the kids on their bike at 6 o'clock in the morning. So... Yeah, it's a good spot for the bathroom. I, what I really like about this bedroom is king size bed. They changed the um, the cover and the cushions and the pillow shams. Uh, there's a couple of cabinet above the the head of the bed, and what's interesting is there's a USB outlet and a couple of power outlets there. Now this year we're getting a memory foam made from Serta at super quality. Right around this corner, we have a closet with a real hanging bar. And it's ready for a washer and dryer if you choose. So, of course, on these particular RVs, you got to buy a unit that does both. But it would fit right here. There is a nice little frame on the wall. There is your control for the 12-volt max air fan. That is a thermostat control. Uh, rain sensor so if it starts to rain it will close on its own and that's going to keep you cool almost as good as an AC folks okay there's a light switch on the wall right here we have a little dresser with big drawers a big fan I love drawers in an RV there's your second power place again it produced some heat they always leave the bottom open so that's a great spot to leave your shoes a okay, couple more with shelves on each side. If you decide to put a TV in the bedroom, that's going to be the spot. Power outlets and the connection for cable right there. A little bit of storage above. And another shirt closet with a real bar again. And then a little bit of storage below. There's one, two, three windows. There's a max air fan and there's a door in this 
particular trailer so ventilation is going to be optimal uh, the bedroom or I'm sorry the bed lifts up it's on gas trucks and they separated the outside storage from the inside storage so you can leave some extra blanket in here it's not going to get mixed up with your barbecue or some of the lounge chair that you may want to uh, store underneath the bed so folks I think we've been uh, going around um, what else can we say about the um, this four track touring edition it's not ready to receive a solar panel on the roof if that's the way our monitor panel is uh, this year now bluetooth enabled so i don't have all the details yet but i believe it will use an app on your phone so you can control pretty much all of the um the controls that it has here directly from your phone other than that pretty awesome little product if you have any question please give us a call or send us an email mm -hmm.